Hello, hello, welcome to the trial of episode 3. Second trial? And second trial this. Um, that's right. Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Because uh, you got probably fucked. Oh, um, no, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia. Oh, uh oh, she looks even unhappy. <laughs> Phoenix, your crying is not... It's not right here, that man walking! <laughs> That's why I feel particularly close to him. CLOSE TO HIM?! <laughs> it's not time for that, for all people, chaps! You know where we're going to our trial is utterly defenseless. Yeah, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, you'll be able to find something that was being overlooked in Davidson to prove it. Something overlooked? Have to find something, Phoenix, today. That or we lose the trial. Isn't going to be easy at all. Yeah. I think I chew out the water. Kurt is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution there! The prosecution is ready for you, Honor. The fan is ready indeed. Uh, very well, Miss Adger, Miss Mister, Mister Edward, your opening statement. An expected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence providing they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mister Edward. What if will be the producer? The prosecution called. Mr. Salmanella, to the stand. Hmm. Or the director. <laughs> Will the witness state his name and the profession? How rude can you get? Yo, don't you know me? I'm the director. I make still samurai, noob Uh huh. Uh, Salmanella, I'm the director. <laughs> Edward is not amused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm director of television. We are global studios on the day of the murder. Yes, Your Honor? Mm. Very well, please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix! Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is indeed innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Mm, right. You don't waste any time putting on the pressure. The pressure! Okay. First statement. Uh, I was at the studio from around 9 at the morning. During the morning, I was uh, doing an um, action scene run through. I took a lot more time than I thought it would. I heard everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the studio with two trailers, uh, two trailers so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. We were in the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about that. Hmm, so much I can think about. Okay, the time of Mr. Summer death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at the time. It's alright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, your honor. Uh, is that your usual <laughs> working time, I guess? Oh, oh no, no. I, I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry. <laughs> yeah, I know all about the fixing of industry. <laughs> I still F Y. What the fuck that means? I don't know. F Y I Y uh, Y. F W I Who? I was pretty busy all the time. Tell us more about it. Good morning. I was doing an action scenes. Hmm. Uh, why do you go on so long? I'm pretty sure you have already heard about this, but W uh P twisted his an uh, uncle uh, ankle? 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 Uh, during the run through, see? Alright, that's the link. Which of course led me to miss my lunch. R O F S Rofs. Rofs running the floor. Stop. Uh yeah. Okay, Tibon's take the sister cooks. I'm drinking it. There are 
always a place some young soldier in war time. Everyone else meeting that the winters did not eat. That meeting is still the two traders who love speaking out. So in time you didn't get the tweet. Yeah, no steak at least. Can't give it. Must be tough. Yes, yeah? There's something about that seem out here. Mm, a little steak? Actually, there is something bothering me. Rimanala, just now, you say steak at least. So you ate something at least, steak? Yeah, good call. I have some chocolate in my pocket, which I used to stay observation. I see. Also turn me and say, Mirmanal. Those scripts of yours are not appropriate children. Do you believe it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can believe it. <laughs> My videos are not appropriate of children. That's why I kind of can. Not only left the table during the whole meeting. So that's true. You didn't take a single break. What is waiting so much about me? Funny how that idea. Wait for one to come up and hit him with it later. Phoenix! His alibi holds power is finished. Press him as hard as you can and find him where he's lying. Right. Uh... The blue Yaru! That's right. I was uh, facing between the Sea Samurai and the Evil Ministry. Is anyone else the running trip? Oh yeah, that security lady was sitting there watching the whole time, you know. He was cheering on Amra, if you believe that, if you can believe it. He certainly has the lung for it. Anyone else? No, just ask for it. Yeah, I'm quite confident that there was someone there. That's him well, tell what you meant. In Manala. Mm, what do you want? I want to see too. I saw something on the table there. There were two plates. The same kind of plates that the ones in the employee area. We ate lunch there. <laughs> you fat ass? Did you eat? No, I'm, I'm, look hold. I'm, I was better, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat, I suppose. Are you want to take me? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. In brothers with the trailer, I think I could eat it later. No likes to eat, I swear as much. How many did you eat? You took one break during that meeting, and um, I wolfed it down then. I'm not an image, I will carry it with me too. Wait a second, you say you took a break in, in that meeting, that contradicts his stats. Precisely that thing. You didn't take a single break, right? Um, well, yeah, no one. Hmm. Wait a second. Yeah. Hmm. 
And Manella, you just contradicted yourself. Then you just tell the girl that you ate the T-bone st uh, steak during a break. Oops. Well, um, what is all about, Miss Manella? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Finished, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. No, no, I call on the witness to that. I call on the witness to testify to court about his break. Very well. Miss Banal, the testimony, please. Uh. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Uh. F W I I W. We took a break. I don't know. I don't know. It was only 15 minutes. So only 13 base 12. And I'm trying for someone to say commit a murder in Studio One. It's only just enough to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. I don't think I will even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well. You may begin the cross the cross examination. Hmm. What time inside did you take this break? Hmm. I think it was from around 2.30 and uh, 2.45? Hmm. Hmm. 2.30. That's the time of that. Why is that? Have you had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor. Testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? So you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Yes, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. You claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? No. But I can't keep cleaning <laughs> this possible either. Really that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. <laughs> so you might be totally trading on thin ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edward? It's quite simple. The uh, true, the break in the trailer meeting came right to the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. Fallen, Mr. Monkey had bared the way. Now around 2.50, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mr. Monkey over the head. Hmm. Is that really Mr. Monkey? Oh, wow. Well, did he say Mrs.? Um, Edward has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to arrest him. I believe, <laughs> I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to re uh, relieve me here. Mr. Manella from the stand. What? He's over? Very well. The court opinion on this case is as follows. I found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the way of the murder. On the way of the murder. On the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the steel, steel, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. Uh, all that is lacking is uh, dec decisive evidence that he's the one who did it. We had that, I'm afraid I will have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have a deceased, uh, dec decisive evidence, a witness. Who is this witness, Mr. Edward? My witness saw that very moment when the still samurai skewered the victim. Order! I will have order! I see, the call will take a 10 minutes recess. After which we will hear your witness. Let us adjourn for recess. I wonder why... Like, if you didn't call the kid... I think you'll probably win. What do we... What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I 
guess I was wrong. Mia! Don't tell me you are giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I never gave up on a trial before not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your first examination. The building trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But what was wrong? That's all that there is. Mm. Oh my god, what's going to happen to me? Ooh, it kinda seem like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murder dad. Murder dad. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you are innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. Give it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the still samurai hero to children and everywhere. After all. Hi, you. Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one is for the kids. Let's do it. For the kids? Do it for the kids. Do it for the kids. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it for the kids. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Power Power Will Powers. The prosecution has uh, a concern. What? What concern? As our return is a great schooler of tender years and this is a murder case. And we worry that the defense might cause <laughs> unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Ah, we're going for it. Right? <laughs> nice to see Edward taking the moral high ground. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on? Oh, right. God, please bring him our box. One of those donut crates should do. Donut? You have a donut crates? With the witness. Say his name at grading school? Witness. What? That's because you're all grown up. I don't mean you can push me. <laughs> mean you can push me around. Ha! Huh. Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm good. Yeah, he's a second grade. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edward? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out the mystery. I'm gonna take a hand cut you. I'm probably butcher it too much. Please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. <laughs> with this, um, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with this gentle thing. You were present, um, uh, we're at the Global Studio on the day of the um, incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What popped? You want me to tell you and, <laughs> and Gramps with your beard over there? Yes. And... <laughs> Everyone's complaining about it. A very long day. Incidentally, photography equipment is strictly forbidden in this course. He said he wouldn't testify, he couldn't bring it. I have special permission if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had a bargain terms with a kid? And <laughs> you lost? <laughs> hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it at all. <laughs> how to use it at all that good yet. But I bring it with me everywhere I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on that day of the murder. <laughs> you better make a note in it to the court. Uh, court record. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw to the day of the incident. Oh. It tastes blood. What did you see? Still somewhere. Rehearsal. Just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studio that day. Wow. You. Wow, wow. The fact that you found a map on the internet? That, that, that's, uh, um, perseverance? Yes. Went through the woods on uh, <laughs> went through the through the woods of the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. Inspiration skill, gain. I was going for the city. Gotta kinda lost on the way though. For about 30 minutes. You get lost in the woods. When I came out of the studio there was still summer. <laughs> it totally rocked. Right before my eyes, how came the bad guy? Of course, the still summer I took him down. How? If I had my camera with me, that would be the time for a shot, I tell you. Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio so I went home. Hmm. Very well. Let's make begin its cross examination. Must, must be gentle, remember? You're talking to a kid. Okay. <laughs> this kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly.
Didn't you just say that you always carry them in you? Um, Cody, what you just say seems, well, a little strange. You say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go. You're quite clear about that. <laughs> no, this is drawing. <laughs> just a huge X. Oh. oh. Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you. <laughs> I was putting the pressure on too much. What is this digital camera contraption you're talking about? It's um, a digital camera, you know? It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain that? I see. Anyway, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studio. You did bring it, didn't you? Um, Objection! Objection! Mr. Wright, how cool you are to the right of all time, sir! <laughs> I don't care if he's a child or a persecuted attorney, no as you lie in court. <laughs> what do you mean, a persecuted attorney? <laughs> well, Cody. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, so I had my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? What? Why would I use this? <laughs> I was too busy watching. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. Yeah, I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off. The still samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! And, and the bad guy stopped moving. That's worrisome. He's a strong, the still samurai rules! Oh, is that all? Well, that was brief. Um, <laughs> Mr. Ryra, your gross examination. Why? Um, what do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Uh, well, because the sea samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? Oh, how did he do it? With a samurai kick. And a samurai punch, and a samurai chop, and a samurai slap. Yeah. Something like that? You're being vague about this. What? Don't give me like li li look, Pops. How should I play this? That's your mother! Cody! What? Something's bothering me. Before you say that, you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah? So what? Yet you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated that it is all quite clear. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me what kind of murder you use a samurai slap. My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the still samurai's fights. But you missed the most important part, the killing them. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, how cool this be? Can you explain how he might have with <laughs> I might have missed something so vital? Oh well, no, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you are in the right track with this. Thing, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know, we have figured this out. Mr. Wright, you answer that. We are certain, uh, we are certain that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Here's my proof. What is that, the camera? The winter stated that, the recently, uh, that he recently received his camera. Yes, I'm aware of it. He wasn't entirely familiar with his operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah, correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Bullseye, yeah. <laughs> it's bully a kid, yeah. What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids? Yes! The fuck? <laughs> Pressing, not picking. <laughs> Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. It's one of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero. And not to take a picture. Right, Cody? There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. 
and that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the bike, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I'll be back to you anything, he's hiding even more shit. <laughs> you see, <laughs> have him testify again. Right, me, I mean business. We're gonna fudge this kid, Your Honor. The defense would like to request the Cody Hankins testify once more. Very well. Cody? <laughs> Could you please tell us about the camera and about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Mm. Welcome to the real world, card. Card? Yeah, you are right, Pops. The steel camera had just escaped from the clutches to Finland, so I had my camera to take a picture, but the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep. Hmm. Any strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? I'm not sure, but I'd like to proceed to cross-examination anyway. <laughs> so I already know the truth, so this is why my reaction will not be the best. And you will rediscover what I mean very soon. That's all? Yeah, I told you, I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have once I got the lens open. Did he really not take the picture? Not even one. Where's him? Oh, nah, he definitely will have taken the picture. There got to, do some, uh, to be something here I can use. Cody, listen up, Cody Hackings. I know exactly what happened to you. You took a picture. Hey, Bullseye? Oh, how do you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Hackings. It's one of my powers. Wow. This feels great. <laughs> this feels great. <laughs> Bully kids. Yeah, yeah. Took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. Hmm. 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 Cody. What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this uh, this, this other day. Huh? Oh, right. What was it you told me then? I got in every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all and never missed one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you will just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Mr. Wright! What exactly is this album? It's called Path of Glory to the Glory. <laughs> it's a collection of pictures <laughs> of the Steel Samurai all taken by Cody <laughs> I love all. Path of Glory. It is. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I... I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. <laughs> Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of him in his armor. Exactly my point, Your Honor. Yes, is what you think it is. No, wait, no way. Phoenix! I think we have finally discovered the truth. And what the truth it is. Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually? Yes, I'm pretty sure what you think is right. Tell them, Phoenix, tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? Because... It's still summer, didn't we? I think... I can only think... One reason, Your Honor. The still Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean, the still Samurai lost? Well, Cody, am I right, aren't I? That's the truth, the bad guy defeated the still Samurai. <laughs> no way! No, it's impossible! The still Samurai never loses! He never loses to anyone, ever! Your Honor? The witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he raised his precious photos. For Cody, it was an inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. 
Jeez. But yet to have... <laughs> I mean, I've got these two much into it. <clears throat> Okay. Yet to meet that we yet to meet what he saw will destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said there's still samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Order! I will have the order! Witness! I mean Cody! Is this true? What what did you see? Tell me. Tell the court what you saw. I s Dun, 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 I'm not gonna cry, okay? Shut up. <laughs> I'm not gonna make sound effect for this. <laughs> Cody, the day you saw still someone in the fight, right? Well, <laughs> you're right. The still samurai fell down. Then he didn't move. <laughs> order, order! What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet according to your witness testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Right, what's going on? Apparently we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order, order, order! So the Steel Samurai is in this photograph. You're saying the man in this costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through that morning. That's he obviously knew about Will Power's foot injury. But wait! Had a Miss Palmer gone to the Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. I remember what Miss Old uh, Oldback said in her testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see poor Old Hammer? Nope. He already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Oop. <laughs> Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. No, was there a picture of him? He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in the dressing room. In his dressing room. And he's knocked into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I... don't know. I got it. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So he was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Uh, me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo of my digital camera. <laughs> what? Show us, quick! No way, man! <laughs> Not if you are gonna look at me like that. Now! <laughs> Here, this is it! But looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. I'm right that it could be anyone in that costume. Your opinion is right. I agree, Your Honor. This isn't a decision device. There, yeah, this is this. Uh, there. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, the decisive evidence. I'm sorry. This doesn't look like it is the proof we need. Now give it back. Wait, Phoenix? Mia? What? Look at the photo once more. That's. That's it. Phoenix? Onyx? Phoenix? Onyx? <laughs> this is a photo of all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Your Honor, may I see the photo once more, please? Certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. Zack, glaring his eyes inc inclusive. In consistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. Why they consistent in the photo? Oh. Take that! Your Honor, look at this! I see a gate. But I draw your attention to the number of the gate. Number? Ah, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor, correct? Dun dun dun! Ugh! I believe Mr. Edward see what I'm getting at. But, but, that's impossible! Um, uh, what's this all about? Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the course. I lose the Studio Gaima. The boy was found near the Studio One. The body, sorry. <laughs> However, when do we see this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one of that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the two scenes of the crime. Show the job where the murder took place. Take that! 
Here, at Studio 2. I see. That will explain the two on the gate and in the portal. Your Honor, I find it very similar that the murder took place in Studio 2. As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on, the, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Saul Manala and Miss Lee Vasquez, Vasquez were outside in the state. They were at the scene of the crime. The part of the trailer was blocked. So we have, uh, so we have heard. The pad was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that will be the case. Remember? Mr. Salmanella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio 1. Although, yet, in actuality, the reserve was also true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were, <laughs> they were the only one with access to the scene of the crime scene. Studio 2. Order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Mrs. Oldman, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hummer. And Mr. Hummer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness! The Hummer is the victim! The victim! Why will he steal the steel, uh, the steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Even proof that the victim Jack Hammer stole the costume. I have proof. I have proof. You do? <laughs> you do, Mr. Wright? Now that they're so surprised, I don't much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here, here's my proof. This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table that Miss Hammer and Miss Power ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? The defendant, Mr. Power, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He saw he was definitely drugged by Hammer. By Hammer. By hammering himself. By Hammer. Wait a moment. Well, that bottle does raise some suspicions. Yes, but there is no proof that Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Fingerprints, the bar. <laughs> Fingerprint that. An idea? Very well. Let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. My claim is true. Miss Hama. Miss Hama. Fingerprints should show up to this bottle. On this bottle, sorry. I suppose you're right. Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. Have the bottle to give it to the judge. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hackett's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, the thing may have been happened very differently than the previously than we previously thought. The still samurai seen by Miss Olbeck may have been the victim, Jack Hummer. The scene of this crime was not Studio 1, but Studio 2, and those in the trail did have time to commit the murder. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why will Mayor Hummer Still, the still samurai costume. Also, who killed him and why? Find the answer for me by tomorrow. Why am I doing the detective job? It's a lot of work. Uh, Miss Edward? Yeah, you will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicious. Your suspicion of Mr. Mill Powers. What do you say, Your Honor? This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Last extension. Very well, courts adjourned. Yeah, it's quite fucked, huh? It's really messy, it's very messy. Phew! That was a close one. We're saved by our hair, that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during that trial. Me too. Really? You both seem so confident. <laughs> Maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to announce you dead about three times back there. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> dead? <laughs> of course we are kidding. Don't worry about that. <laughs> are you sure about that? <laughs> I wasn't kidding. <laughs> now, Miss Power, we have to make our final investigation. 
But I promise you, we will find a true killer by tomorrow's trial. That is a promise. It's a heavy promise, by the way. Because you... No, I'm not gonna say that anything. <laughs> right, thanks. <laughs> With that, we had the second trial of today. And, um, happy dream? Yeah, I'm eating chocolate. That's no problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have a lovely day. And goodbye.